Then who? where we left off we got another phone call and if you did not watch the first episode go and watch it now or else you will not understand what is going on i'll give a brief synopsis there was a serial killer going around and we're basically saving people's lives with that call in and say hey i need some help and we give them instructions on how to save their lives so far we've saved everybody's life like we literally are goaded i don't know how anybody else be missing but we don't miss around here we don't miss we're gonna continue we do not miss around here we don't miss but you can miss me with that. Yeah, we don't. We don't miss around here. Basically, we have another caller calling in. Let's do this. Caller, you're through to Forrest Nash on 189.16. The Scream. The Scream. We don't need this anymore. Hey, wonderful show tonight, Forrest. Who is this? Thank you. I don't know about wonderful, but... Uh, yeah, thanks. I mean... Yeah, What's your thanks. name, Caller? Uh, you can call me Don. Could you play my tune, Forrest? Your tune. Your sure. tune. Long Ride Home. That old song. Sure. Long Ride Home. I think I played it the other day. Thanks. It'll be good to hear it again. What? All right, folks. Coming up is that old classic. Uh, Forrest, I don't think you're going to find that song. Yeah, I can't find what it. What do you mean? I played it a few nights ago. I know, but uh, we don't have it anymore. Why? What are you talking about? I threw it away. Why? You threw it in the trash? No, I... I threw it out the window earlier why? today. Why? Uh, why? And why did you throw it out the window earlier today? Brad was annoying me all afternoon. He played it on oh repeat goodness. because he knows I don't like it. Peggy. So I grabbed it and threw it right out of one of the office windows. Do you want Not me to go hour, outside of where the... I can only take so much. Where the whistling man is? For shame, For shame, Peggy. Peggy. For shame. I know. Let's just play a different song. Uh -huh. We've got more important things to think about anyway. Gotcha. Okay, folks. Here comes some unrequested music. Sorry about that, Don. Sorry, Maybe try Don. Again tomorrow night. Sorry. Sorry, Don. I mean, that's so random. Threw it out the window. Of all the songs to request, why'd oh. it have to be that one? Gee, Peggy. Wow. What did the barn finds ever do to you? Wrote that song for one. I wonder it what the song real sounds old like. When you're forced to listen to it on repeat for years. Dang, is it like Baby <gasps> why Shark? Why can't we just request Brody? Oh, Forrest, scrap the song. We have another caller. Another caller and more lives to save. Sorry to cut the music short, folks. Callers take priority tonight. Yes. Welcome to 189.16, The, the scream. scream. This is Forrest Nat. Murphy. Oh, thank God. It's me again. This is the guy who decided to go and fight and challenge the whistling man at the gallows waste disposal. Mr. Dojo, hey, the guy who says he could go, do kung Mr. fu. Dojo. Or karate. Oh, the killer got me, man. What? I... Uh, why did I ever trust a guy named Master Robin? Bro, are you okay? I warned you not to. Hindsight is 2020, okay? Okay. Forrest, we need to do something. Okay, what's wrong with you? Okay. Beat on me, man. Whoa. Carry me inside and lock me in a dark Whoa. I got a flashlight, but... Oh. He's gonna burn alive? I smell smoke. I think he's starting to <gasps> Hold on, Murphy. We'll call for help right now. You gotta hurry, man. Oh I'll no. Someone here now or I'm gonna die. I'm s Murphy! Peggy, get the fire department on the line. On it. Oh my goodness. Where's the fire department? Now just come on, pick up. The fire station's all the way over here. Hi. Yes, I'd like to report a fire over at the Gallows Waste Disposal Plant. Oh, it's no. It's an emergency. Oh, no. 
What do you mean it's not operational? What? Why is there no backup vehicle? There's only one truck? What do you the want me to... Ugh. Do you want me to drive over there myself? Son of a... Slash the tires on the town's only fire engine. Only? They can't do anything. How you only have one I fire... Have a few friends who live nearby. Maybe one of them can save Murphy. Where oh. do they live? My friend Alex lives on the corner of Haddonfield and Romero Street. And Catherine lives on the west end of Myers Lane. And there's Jericho on the east end of Myers Lane. But he's... Old. Really what? old. Okay, I'll check the map. See who would be best to do this. Okay, so... She said Haddonfield. So there's Haddonfield and Romero. So like right here, that's nearby. Hold on, can you tell me again? All right, Forrest, who should I call? Who can help Murphy? No, can you can you say that again? Where is Murphy again? Forrest, really? He I need you to tell me where the other ones are. Waste disposal plant. Okay, okay, sorry, I forgot. No, but where are the other people that you said? Uh, she said Haddonfield and something. Where did she say? Oh, Myers over here. I think I think this is fine. Who's at Haddonfield? Can All right, Forrest. Who should I call? Who can help Murphy? Who did she say? Let's say Alex. Call Alex. All right. Give me a second. I don't know. Oh, I wasn't paying attention to this. Oh, that's the right one. That's the right one I wanted. Haddonfield and Romero. They're on the way. They'll call. Oh my the goodness. Plant. You can direct them from there. Well, let's hope they get there in time. Okay, so... Oh, my goodness. Hopefully, we got that right. Hopefully, that's not... That's not, um... Forrest, I'm getting a call. Okay. Um... Are you sure you can't? Um... What's happening, Peggy? What's happened? Alex was too far away. Too <gasps> slow. The plant burned down. <gasps> it collapsed. So Murphy is... <gasps> Poor Fernando is gonna be crushed. <gasps> what? But he lives on the corner of Haddonfield right next to Romero Street. Right here. Where did... East and Myers... What? How was he too slow? Old man Jericho lives at the east end of Myers thing. Right here? That's closer? Oh, that was closer. No! We... We had someone die! No! I'm not gonna lie. I'm very, very tempted. I am very, very tempted to just load the game, like... And just like, pretend that didn't happen. Low key, pretend that didn't happen. We're gonna save. We're gonna try the old man. East end. Okay, let's do Jericho, let's do Jericho. Old man Jericho wasn't oh. fast enough. Oh! I don't know why I even mentioned him. But I did. The plant burned down. It collapsed. Oh! So Murphy is- No! Who can help Murphy? Although I think technically Catherine's farther than what's his name who lives right here. All right, call Catherine, call I guess. Catherine. I can't believe we let Murphy die twice. <laughs> you know I'm what, it coming doesn't- in. It's Catherine. She and Murphy are now both on the line. Okay. Hello, Yay! Catherine, are you there? What, uh, what, what's happening at the plant? Oh, she's I'm brave. Going. She's brave. Oh, my reception is terrible in here. God, my eyes stink. Okay, okay, okay. Wait, what are we doing? Whoa. What am I supposed to say? Uh, 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 see anything, Murphy? Murphy, can you see anything at all? Yeah. I got a little flashlight. Looks like... Cans. Okay, Bottles. recycling. And newspaper. Okay. What does it say on the newspaper? It's uh, the Henderson headline. Okay. What was that? My reception is. Okay, recycling, recycling. Please, force. 
Tell me where to go. Recycling. Go to recycling. Recycling. Okay, I think we're good. I think we're good. Come on, Catherine. I can go shredding or crushing. Which way? Murphy, do you know what part of the plant you're in? What part? What part? I'm in a dumpster, man. What do you want? From What's me? in there? Hear anything? Do you hear anything, Murphy? I hear my heart about to pound out of my chest. Bro. Put the receiver up to the lid. Cut it up. The crusher? Catherine, go to the crusher. Oh, I hope that's the right one. Oh my goodness, this is nerve wracking. Okay, it's super loud. We're almost out of time. Oh my goodness. There are three dumpsters here. One for Gallows Creek Council, Henderson Disposal, Henderson, and Quiet Ridge Municipal. Henderson, 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 Open Henderson. The Henderson container. That's the one. That's the one. That's the one. That's the one. Oh my goodness, Murphy! I found him. Murphy Let's literally go. died go. twice. It's coming down. Getting crushed. Please tell me that this worked and they got out. Please tell me they got out. Please. Please. Hello? We made it. Oh my goodness. Oh man. You saved my life. Yeah, the other two times didn't count. They didn't Thank count. You. You're in safe Thank hands. And, and I swear to you, now, I'm gonna raise Fernando to be like you. Aw, uh, I appreciate it. I'm getting my money back from Master Robin. Okay. Hey, you just get home to your son, Oh okay? my goodness. Will do, Forrest. Well, folks, Gallows Creek has oh two my goodness. tonight. Murphy and Catherine. Yes. I'm sure their deeds won't soon be forgotten. Great job, Forrest. No time to celebrate, though. We got a caller. You know what to do. I feel All like right, it's going to be that girl that wanted to play a song. Citizens is on the line. Let's see what they have to say. Welcome to 189. I feel like it's going to be that girl saying, you didn't play my song. With me, your host, Forrest Nash. Forrest? Oh, Teddy Gallows. The, the one running for mayor. I just want to say that my thoughts and prayers are with my Gallows Creek neighbors Bro. during this awful time. This guy is ready oh, to promote it's mayoral candidate and his whole of the town mayoral founders. run. Mr. Gallows. Are you in danger? We need to be a town of law uh, can we, can we and mute him? order. Can we mute him? We need cops who have the tools we can't mute him? and funding they need to keep us safe. Oh my goodness. Okay, Teddy. We... I know. You're an outsider to our little town here, Forrest. Bro, can I mute you, can, really Peggy? Can we... stepping up the fat for us all Can you tonight. mute him? I just want to say thank you. This man is swing. just like Ponty's Gallo Pizza. Uh, right. Thanks, Teddy. Now, are you... Teddy, you lowlife. This is not the time to promote your damn campaign. I just want to make sure our town is safe and prosperous. Yeah. That's why the Gallows family factory... Can you, can you quiet now? Quiet, can you be quiet now? Thanks. Theodore C. Gallo. <laughs> can, can you mute him? Turn him off? Over this promotional Teddy, ad. Unless you've got an emergency, I'm cutting you off. You know what? I do have a problem. Oh? A problem that's what? Okay, what's what, what is it? Town. What is it? You know what it is? What is it? The whistling yeah, man. How about the serial killer? The problem. Oh my is goodness. That woman, our current mayor. Linda Cartwright. Oh, here we go. Boy. She just isn't one of us. Linda Cartwright is un-American, unstable. Oh, wow. And... You're not better than anyone, Teddy. Just because you inherited half the town, it... Your producer sounds a oh. little unstable, too. Wow. Don't you dare speak to me that way. Cut him off, Peggy. I can wow. guarantee you this kind of He's thing saying that she's unhinged. The disrespect is crazy. Up. The moral decay of... And that's enough of a peaceful Teddy Gallows Jr. To rest your for bones. one lifetime. I always feel disgusting after hearing him talk. Just play an ad for us. I need a minute. We'll be right back uh, after these messages. I don't think we played this one. No, no, no. We didn't do that. 
We don't need that one. This one? I don't think we played this ad before. The world famous annual Gallows Creek Harvest Festival. Oh. Is back. Is back. We got it all out on Giblet Field. We got the Little Miss Harvest Pageant. Hey. Princess Harvest Pageant. Harvest Queen Pageant. Hey. Cotton candy, corn dogs, corn Cotton candy, corn, candy, corn, corn dogs. Top, corn, wow, this so much corn. Music, can jam, jams, jellies, jam, I want to go. Juggling, roller Ricky's roller disco lessons. Praying. We got baby crawling whoa, balloon whoa, pop, they balloons got a lot. for sale, beard contest, baby crawling. hay ride, hay toss, hey you there, safe donkeys hey. and ponies, apple hey, bottom, you there? firearm, fireworks, oh my goodness. Cakes, fried goat, there's a lot for what, a small town of only like a thousand people. Cat shop. What happened to the cat? And fake tattoo face paint, Yo, puppet, how cotton zoo, amaze and maze maze, square dance and story swap and spell and be, quilt and be, and sew and circle. Is that it? Pie and lawn oh my race goodness. And hot dog eating contest, flower contest, and of course our famous Wait. gold <laughs> measure off. Did he stop the, the, the recording and add that? By Mayor Linda Cartwright, sponsored uh -oh. by Gallows and Sons Factory and dedicated to the memory of Garrett Miley, tragically taken from us last festival. I can see why it's world famous. Wow. It's a highlight around here for us. No wonder people like oh, Linda. I am sorry to hear that, Peggy. All right, folks. Welcome back to the show. We have a note from my producer. Uh, That's right. Come find me at the Harvest Festival tomorrow to grab your choice of a KFAM mug, uh -huh. sticker set, or poster. Nice. Let's see what our next caller would choose. Nice. Caller on line one. Hello, caller. You're live on, on the, the screen with me, Forrest Nash. Nash. Uh-oh. You're gonna live. You're gonna uh, live. Hello. Caller. Okay, from now on, if someone dies, I'm gonna let them die. I just I just felt like that the other one was I'm Forrest Nash. too I, obvious. I'm like, I should've just looked at the notes. What's wrong? There's a guy hunting me and my friends. I, I think he's killed some of them already. If if anybody dies now, I'll I'll leave it be. I'll leave it be though. That's him. I just, like, just, just let me have that one here. slip up. Just one. She's just a kid. Okay, okay, okay. Can you fight back? Do you back? have any kind of weapon with you? Something that might let you fight back? Oh my god. Oh, no. oh my god. Stay with me, kid. Uh -oh, Focus. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. I can't do this. Oh my goodness. Yes, you can. Focus. Tell me, what's your name? Oh no. Where? Oh my goodness. Sweetie, you can do it. What's your name? Uh, Carrie. Good, good. Okay, Carrie, okay, okay. Carrie. Listen to me. We're going to get you out of there. All right? Now, where are you? The old murder house. What? Upstairs. Where's that? I'm at the end of a hall. Where's that? There's, there's a bathroom, a couple bedrooms, a closet. I don't even know where that is. It's coming. Where should I go? Uh oh. Uh oh, uh oh. How am I supposed to know this? Go to the bedroom. Go to the bedroom. Okay, I'll. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. He's here. He's here. Oh my goodness. He's gonna kill me. Forrest, I don't think we can. He's not whistling. Don't move. Don't move. Oh my goodness. He's not whistling. Hold on. Called in earlier, pretending oh. to be the whistling man. That's it. I'm out of here. 
You're sick, Jimmy. Uh, Jimmy, this is a pretty sick thing to do. It is. What? It's whistling night. Jimmy, go that to bed. Idiot. Because whistling literally, night? the way I thought it's I'm actually messed up. Tradition. Especially stupid, since that one kid died back in... <sighs> Would you take off that stupid mask if it's hard to breathe? Who's under there anyway? Hmm? Is that you? You guys, can, can we hang up? Idiot. Can we hang up? Seth is right next to you. That's, uh... What? Uh... Wait. Oh, no. Who, uh... Who are you? Oh, no, man! <laughs> Everyone, get inside! Everyone, run! You bought time. Oh no. Forrest, we have to do Heather, what? I already called the cops. Forrest picked up. He's the best we're Oh no, get. what are we gonna do? Who is with you, Carrie? My friend, we drove out to the old I don't know where that is. Oh, of course! The van! Who's got the keys? Well, I don't even know where that is. Where's the old murder house? Oh no, they can't even drive off. Jimmy's gone! Jimmy was making fun of the whistling man. Okay. Focus. Focus. Stay focused, Carrie. I know, you can grieve focus. him later. You can grieve him later. Sorry. Sorry. I'm here. We'll figure something out. Between all of you, there's got to be a way to beat this. I don't know Just how to do this. I'm not going to lie. Okay? I'm scared. Heather, shut up. Shut up, if Heather. We do that, we're going to get killed. If only Jeannie were here. Our intern, Jeannie? Yes. She's my best friend and the smartest one out of all of us. Oh! She stayed in tonight. Force, listen. I think we'll it was that little desk downstairs. And, uh... What? Scott, you're not any good at... And... No, no, Chad. Out of all of us, you're not the oh one... Oh my goodness, can y'all stop talking? I need to uh, think. Everything okay? No. We... Uh, we're figuring out a plan. But everyone's volunteering to do things that are just... Bad at. Dang. I think we can figure out what to do, but I don't think we can agree on who should do what. Uh oh. I think you'll have to be the tiebreaker. Oh no! Don't let me don't don't, don't right. let me be the tiebreaker, please. But I. Shut up, you. Oh, Forrest, I'll call you back. But I don't know anything about your friends. Uh oh, let's go find things about the friend. <gasps> These damn kids never learn. Breathe, Peggy. Breathe, Peggy. It's okay. <sighs> Do this kind of thing every year, Forrest. People get hurt. All right, <clears throat> folks. We're gonna work out a way to save Carrie and her friends. This next Here one go. goes out to all the trapped kids out there. Yes, all the trapped kids. Peggy, you mentioned something about their friend working here? I know exactly Mentor? where to go. Yeah, Jeannie. Seems a nice enough girl, but a bit head in the clouds, you know? Not sure why we took on an intern. We really didn't have the office space for one. Poor thing got tucked away in a dark corner somewhere I know exactly where it is. All right, I'll go see if I can find her desk. Let's Hopefully go. she has something we can use. All right, let's go. Oh my goodness, imagine you could see him watching you. Okay, so I know he's over here. What can Jeez. we find out about the friends here? They really tucked Jeannie away. What can we find out about the friends here? Friendship quiz. <gasps> this might work. What was that sound? Who's most likely to peak Mount Everest? Heather, who's most likely to win the award for worst poker face? S Cynthia, so Scott, Chad, and Tammy are fine. Who's most likely to end up in prison? Seth, who's most likely to escape prison? Jennifer, who's most likely to become an Olympic athlete? Um, Hot David, okay. Okay, let's put it right here. And let's talk to Peggy, hey, our girl. You find our anything girl. that'll help us out? Yeah, I found a friendship quiz with all these kids on it. If you think that'll help, then good enough. Carrie's on line one, whenever you're ready. Okay. Time to turn the music off. Oh, my bad, I this forgot. This is Forrest Nash, back again with an unlucky caller on okay, this Okay, let's focus on this, night. let's focus. Carrie, let's look are at you this. there? Yes, we've got a plan, but we can't agree on all right, all right. what. You want me to be the tiebreaker? All right, exactly. here we go, here we go. I'm ready. What's the first step? Okay, first things first, we'll need a spotter. Someone who can keep an eye on the kid. Okay. 
We'll need someone on the roof. Okay. It's gonna be a hard climb. Heather. We're deciding between Heather, Kyle, and Hot David. Uh, Heather, 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 Heather. Got this. Heather. Yes, Heather. He picks okay, you. Okay, nice, 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 nice. Now please stop talking about all your cheerleading trophies. Heather's perfect for it. She's a two there. two. The whistling man padlocked the gate back to the road. Before we drive out of here, we need someone to pick the lock. Jennifer. Seth, Jennifer, and Scott all want to do it. Jennifer. Jennifer. Perfect. Jesus, Jennifer, you carry a bump key? Why didn't you say so earlier? Perfect. We're good at this. Anyway, We're good at this. That brings us to part three. Getting the van keys. I'll volunteer for this. Okay. I don't know Jimmy as well as you guys, so... Oh. It'll probably be easier that way. Then it's part four. Okay, part four. The plan is... Ambitious. This plan is, uh, well, it's ambitious. Thank you. You're doing great. What's the next part? What's the next part? Part four. We need someone to lead the whistling man away. Okay. We need a fast runner. For this one, we're trying to decide between... Who was it again? Hot David. Oh, Heather's already doing the Cynthia climbing. And Scott. Hot David. Hot David. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hot you, David. Uh, Hot David. Shirtless. You got this, hot David. Why? Is it, why is it called okay, hot David? Let's recap. Where's Get ugly David? The a runner distracts the killer while we grab the van keys. Okay. And pick the lock on the gate. Okay. Now the tricky part: the getaway. Oh boy. Ooh. What's the plan there? Well, we can't all outrun the whistling man, but he thinks we're just a bunch of stupid teens. So let's use that against. Okay. So what are we gonna do? Part five: We trick the killer into a trap. Someone can pretend to be injured. Okay. Who would make the most believable beat? Who you got? We got Lisa, Tammy, and Cynthia. Tammy, Tammy. Tammy. Tammy, if you survive this, never do that British accent. Tammy is said is the best that poker face. Be Worst poker face is Cynthia, so we cannot do Cynthia. Cynthia will not be good at acting. Finally, part six. We need someone who can drive us through the woods and back to Gallows Creek alive. Okay. Who's our getaway driver? Should it be... Who have we got? Chad, Scott, Cynthia, oh, whatever. Forrest, you know what to do. Huh? Uh-oh. I don't know. Wait, I don't know who should drive. It could be Scott or Cynthia, but not Chad. I think let's do Scott. Scott. I know we all love watching American Skid. Yes, I... I, yeah. I think... Just do what they did in the movie. Uh... Thanks. I, I hope we got all that good. We'll just take a few seconds for ourselves. And then it's go time. Okay. Good. Talk to you in a sec. Good luck, Carrie. Oh no. I really hope we did well that with that. It actually sounded like a pretty good plan. I hope I so. Hope you're right. Oh, the kids are back already. Oh, okay. Line one again. Let me stop the music. I just put that back on. If you're just tuning in. Tuning in to the screen. To live with a bunch of teens about to flee a madman. All right. Listener discretion is advised. Are you ready, Carrie? We're good to go, Forrest. Good luck. Good luck. And Godspeed. Okay, okay. You got this. Here Please. we go, everyone. Smarter, to the roof. Go, Heather. She's off and away. Okay. All right, Renner. I'm Get scared. Ready. I'm scared. Wait for the spot. I'm scared. I'm scared. Hopefully I didn't Spotters, mess anything up. Hopefully I didn't mess anything up. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Please, please tell me we did it. Oh my goodness. Well, oh, Carrie, shit. Carrie, focus. Oh, oh his, his face is. Carrie, focus. The keys. Carrie, you need to get the van keys. His face is lying next to him. <gasps> oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, no. I didn't look at the back. Oh, no. Oh no, I chose Scott. He's more likely to end up in a car crash. Who's most likely to beat everyone at go-karting? But Scott is good at go-karting. Oh, I really hope I did well with this. I didn't look at the back. I really hope I didn't mess this up. Focus. Focus, breathe. Breathe, right. Oh my goodness, I forgot that I could, ex I forgot that I could examine it. Oh my goodness. Jennifer got the gate unlocked. 
David should be back any second. Oh, you know, I, I really hope nobody dies. I can't believe it's actually working. Oh, no. You're doing great. Focus. You got this. We I'm got scared. this. Next step, trap the killer. All right. Wait. Get into position. Everybody else, hide. Okay. Oh my goodness. Okay, perform. Oh my goodness. Now, act like your life depends on it. Ah. Oh. There he is. Ah. He's buying, buying it? it. Okay, okay, okay. Ah. Oh no. Okay. He knows. What? Ah. He. Now, push the bookshelf over. Uh oh. Uh oh. What? Spotter! You need to climb down now! Oh no, someone go. died! She's coming down. And yes! Heather! Uh-oh. Quick, everyone to the van. Well, I thought Tammy is, is, is... Driver, take the keys! I thought Tammy was the best at that. The gate swung shut. Oh no. What did I mess up? What did I mess up? Huh? What? It won't stay open. I'll hold it. Oh my goodness! What did I mess up? Drive through. I'm I'm scared. I'm like Carrie. We already know Tammy what was died. That? It's a whistling man. Drive now. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness, don't crash it. Don't. What's happening? Let me go. Just go. Just die. Oh my god. What's going on? Can you get somewhere safe? What happened to the rest of them? I can make it home. Thank you both for helping. So if you hadn't I? So it was is Tammy, your plan, Carrie. Is and it Tammy was the only plan. one that died then? It was all you. It was really all you, Carrie. Still, I need to get home. I... Breathe, Carrie. So we're okay now. I'll call you when I'm somewhere safe. Talk to you then. Wait. So, who died and who's alive? Folks, that was a... That was a lot. At least Carrie's now alive. thoughts go out to the parents whose kids won't make it home tonight. For any kids listening in, what? please stay inside. So who made it alive? Stay safe. And parents, hug your kids extra tight tonight. Did all the kids... Here's a song for the girl... Walking home in the dark. Bro, who's alive? Did all of them die except Carrie? I'm a little bit upset because I think some of them did die. Dang, I don't even know where hey, I went we wrong. Had a come in. I, I literally don't even know where I went wrong. Forrest Nash here. Listeners, we've got another caller live on 189.16. The, the scream. scream. What's on your mind, caller? Hey, Forrest. I just wanted to phone in and say... I think I speak for everyone when I say that you're providing a real service for Gallus Creek tonight. Um, it's okay. Cool what you're doing, man. Well, I'm just doing my job, friend. Anyway, tell me about yourself. Yeah, let's have someone be nice for once and not be tonight? not be scared yeah, or man, I'm anxious. Good, thanks. I'm at my roller in danger. rink, trying to get everything ready for the Harvest Festival tomorrow. Roller rink. I had a guy from Starling Security here earlier installing the Starling 4000 system, so I'm a little behind. As for my name, my friends call me Roller Ricky. Roller Ricky, and I hey. I consider you a friend, my man. 
Hey, that's that's cool. Thanks, friend. We're friends now, huh? Well, Where's that? Where's the roller? That's kind ring? of you to say. Thanks. Yeah, man. Yeah, Sounds man. like roller skating is more than just a job to you. So where's the, is where's this the roller vocational? I wasn't always roller Ricky. Once upon a time, believe it or not, oh, that's I used to just Ricky. Yeah. Okay. Back then, things were pretty rough. Hey, it's okay, man. A bad crowd. Not all bad, but there was one guy. Um, you t anyway, yeah? Can you? Uh, some bad stuff went down. Yo, is there anything you want to say? Like, a long time. That's more interesting. Wow. I don't Whoa, really talk about bro. it or even know how to Why talk are you talking about, about all this on air? Parts. That bottle took the best years of my life. Um so I thought. It's never too late, Roller Ricky. Yeah. How did you turn things around? I joined a support group. I opened up about my problems and sharing that burden just took so much. You know, good off. for you, Ricky. It's a long story from there, but I found Roller Disco. Where's Roller I Disco? I have fun again, cutting loose and making shapes. Now, whenever I get down, I get down. <laughs> totally free from it all, man. It's important just to talk to somebody. That's the first. Oh, roller Ricky's right here. <gasps> whoa, whoa, Ricky, oh, no! I, I, I feel like the dog is um. Welcome, Max. Uh, welcome I to feel the like show, the Max. dog is barking at the whistling man. Max is my emotional. Support oh no! Dog. He's a rescue dog. But I always say he's the one that rescued me. Oh no, because dogs always sense things. He's the best dog a guy could ask for. Of course, the first thing I did was teach him how to skate. He's better than me now, a real pro. Max can the skate. The dog can skate? Yeah, man. At first they said it couldn't be done, and then they said it shouldn't be done. But Maxie loves the rink, man. Is that another train, Maxie? Maxie loves trains, man. Is he's there? Oh, that there's a train right. It goes right here. Okay, okay, okay. Um, neighbors must love it. I'm sure your neighbors must love that. Uh, Maxie appreciates all the positivity you're throwing out, my man. Yeah. You know, I'm actually hosting free skating lessons tomorrow at the festival. I think it's a great opportunity to give back to the community. Hey, you know what? Do your thing, man. You're actually such a man, you're nice. Man, talk of skating has got me itching for a boogie. Before I switch my radio off for the night, could I request a song for Go us? Go ahead, man. Something I can groove to, you know, something funky. Yeah. It'll be me and Maxie's final boogie breakdown tonight. Okay, what do then you want? I think we'll take it down a little. Okay. Uh, I can do that. Thanks again for calling. You and Max, be safe now, okay? Bye, Maxie. You got it, man. Peace. Well, folks, this next one yeah. goes out to Roller Ricky. Roller Ricky and Max, and Max especially Max, the doggy. I really needed that call, you know. After Honestly, everything. that was a, that was a nice yeah, little call that. after everything. You talked like... a bit much for my taste, but. It is inspiring to hear somebody come back from the brink like that. Yeah, yeah, that, that's what I meant. <sighs> you were thinking about Max on skates, weren't you? Well, uh, <laughs> would you look at that? Another caller on the line. Oh my goodness, what we have so odds? many callers. Take it. Welcome back to 189.16, The Scream. The Scream. This is Forrest Nash. How are you tonight, caller? I'm doing okay. Oh, Carrie! I made it home safe. Carrie! Hey! I, I just oh my goodness wanted to thank you for doing what you could earlier. You know, even though not everybody made it, and uh, I don't know. Hey, it's okay. So you I were think so only, brave earlier. Only Tammy didn't now. make it. I think. I wanted to ask you why. Why he didn't? Why, why am I? Why what, Carrie? Why did he spare me? Why did he? After what he did. Why did he spare her? He wanted the pranksters? Maybe he didn't kill you because he saw you as a victim? I don't know. I don't have an answer. But why would that stop him from killing me too? After everything he did to- These stupid hazing nights have to stop. Carrie, you did so well tonight. Stay safe what? and rest. I feel like we're getting closer Help to who is it is. to Gallows Creek. We just need to hold on. I feel like Thanks, we're getting Maggie. closer to who this person is. Hey, Forrest, uh, could I request a song? Of course, Carrie. He didn't kill Carrie. What song? Is Any song by Clive. Last Processor. And thank you. This next one goes out to Carrie. Yeah. You know, what Carrie just said has really got me thinking. About what? The whistling man left her alone. Why? Yeah. There must be a reason. 
When he has to know her. To masked, he has killers, to know her in some way. I don't think a reason is a key part of their process. Well, it's something to consider. Definitely. I need to take a break. If you want to stretch your legs, now's the time. Just hit the Peggy button when you want to get back on air. Okay. So can I walk out? Okay. Let me in. Locked tight. Hopefully, uh, there's nothing I'm actually supposed to do right now. Let's get going, Peggy. Alrighty. We could run another segment or... Scratch oh. that, Forrest. We have a caller. Yay! A caller! Who are we gonna help tonight? Okay, Forrest. Shut the music off. I did. I pressed stop. You're through to 189.16. The scream. scream. What's your emergency? Hello again, Forrest. Oh, that call with the teens was awful. Those poor Is kids. that Don? Still, I'm... I'm glad the girl didn't get hurt. <gasps> All Thanks the other ones died? For concern. Uh, are you in trouble? What's on your mind? I wanted to ask you again to play my song, Forrest. You said you were going to play it, oh. but you didn't. Your name was Dawn, right? What, Peggy? Yes. Oh, well remembered. My name is Dawn. And I'm scared. I wanted to ask you again to play Why? my song, Forrest. Why is she calling again? Long ride home. You know... The one that Peggy said she threw outside the window? Oh. <laughs> well, we don't but have it. We don't have that song. As you just said, Peggy threw it out the window. But, Forrest, yeah. you do have it. It's just outside the window. There's a serial killer on the loose. Yeah. I can't just go outside hunting for a record. I'm really sorry, yeah, Don. like, what are you asking us to do? We just can't get it right now. But wasn't the whistling man just at the old murder house? That's miles from the station. It won't take you a second to crack. Why it. are you push pressing this so hard? He's Don, fast. I'm not sure if you've heard, but he goes from here to there. Something unnatural about this freak. He's he's fast. I'm not risking it. Oh, but I think you will. Why? Forrest, Peggy, I'm I'm calling with more than a request. I know something. You're trying to blackmail us into I doing think this. I know who's gonna be next. What? what? Are you serious? Play my song, Forrest, and you'll find out. Oh my goodness, you want me to go outside? Uh, Peggy, give me the key. Well, folks, here's some music for you while I think things over. While I think things over, here we go. No. Is she serious, Peggy? She's serious about hearing that song, that's for sure. Peggy, okay. I mean, is she serious about, about knowing something? I don't know, Forrest, but we don't really have a choice, do we? I guess. If she's telling the truth. Uh, why don't then you go? Then why don't you go and get it? Yeah, why can't? It's why don't I have one to go? Of Reggie's KFAM regulations. I can't leave the booth while we're on air. Then turn. Peggy. Oh my goodness. Just, you can do it. Okay? I almost feel like she doesn't want me to see her in person or something. Like, Fine. What? You're a good man, Forrest. I'll slide oh, okay. you the key to the fire door. Thank you. Wait, wait. Our fire door has to be unlocked? Yeah, it... Uh... You know, I never thought about it, but... Yeah. Wow, that's not safe. You about that later. Anyway, I'll hold the fort down while you're out. Thank you. Maybe I'll even get a caller. That could be exciting. I gotta actually walk outside. I'm scared. 16. The Scream. With me, Peggy. Peggy, can we get this over with? Thanks, Peggy. Fire door. Okay. If I have to do running, I'm gonna be so... If I get jump scared. If I get jump scared, oh my goodness. Oh, this is in the tutorial. Oh, I hate it here. I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't like this. You know, I hope she'll be happy when I'm brutally murdered by the whistling man. Oh my goodness. Out here, in the open. Oh, Hello? I saw him. 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 No, I can't find it. I can't find it. Hold on. We're going to save game. Just in case. Is that it? Here it is. Long ride home. Go, go, go. Go, 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 go. I can't run. Hurry up, hurry up. Of course, it locks behind me. Oh and my of goodness. Of course, the key doesn't work on this side. Oh no. Fantastic. 
Maybe there's another way back in through the basement. Here? A, a door, elevator, or something. Oh. Looks like I'm gonna have to hunt around for some new fuses. I... I need to be fast. Oh my goodness. Hunt for fuses, hunt for fuses. Hunt for fuses, hunt for fuses. <gasps> oh my goodness. Fuse. He's right. Is that him? I don't even know anymore. I wish I could sprint. Yo. Why did they up the ante in this? Okay, there has to be another fuse somewhere. Oh, here we go. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Okay. Bingo! Oh my goodness. Save. All right, what just opened? What just opened? What just opened? What just, what just opened? That was loud. Oh. Okay, get in here. I could probably survive that fall. There we go. Can I close this? Can we close this? We don't want to keep it open. Looks like the janitor's closet. What did Peggy say his name was? Clive. Clive. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. What? 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 What the? Peggy is not gonna believe this. Um. Yo. Is there anything else here? What? Yo, there's so much things here. Hospital, power station, trailer park, gas station. Chuck Brody, Kim Walker, Rebecca Allen, Aunt Williams. Huh. There's a key. Key to I'll basement just stairs. take that. Yeah, yeah let's Might take that. important. Don't jump scare me. Do not jump scare me. Please. Please don't. Please don't jump scare me. Please don't. I'm begging. Oh my goodness. I just said please. Hmm. I wonder how the show's going. I wonder how it's going to. Where am I? That was the stairs. Okay. So let me go back this way. And back upstairs. Oh my goodness. We found the record. Isn't that such a good song, folks? And now for... Oh, Jesus, Forrest, you've been gone for ages. I thought it something locked happened. behind me, man. Something did happen. Clive the janitor might be Clive the they, murderer. Yeah, yeah. What? I'll start from the beginning. The, uh, the fire door locked behind We should probably play the song. We should probably play the song. Oh, okay. I guess we're explaining everything. It's 240 now. 240. Where is Leslie? Leslie, the one who was supposed to go and um, find the cops in another the city. Uh, because the basement's creepy as and I don't like standing around down there. Fair. All right, let's run through this again. We have a creepy board you found in a creepy basement. Yes. Made by our creepy janitor. Oh, we brought it up here. Who you think is the creepy whistling man. Oh, nice, we brought it up here. And on the creepy board are the names Chuck Brody, Kim Walker, Rebecca Allen, and Aunt Williams. Yes. Correct. And you think one of these people- We've will carried this with us? Clive's next target that's right and we've got to find them you said there are four locations listed there too yeah the hospital the power station the gas station and, and the, the trailer, trailer park. park clive must think the target is at one of those locations forrest you're gonna have to figure out if any of the potential targets are at one of these locations tonight uh -oh. hit the button if you need any help uh-oh uh-oh Festival disaster, big wheels breaks feet. Okay, wait. flu for thought recommends getting the flu. Chuck Brody is a student. Game day justice. 
Oh my goodness. I, I don't know what I'm doing. Peggy, help! So that was the festival disaster. Local legend takes Manhattan. She stole our cars. And then she stole our time and money. Okay, so this is a trailer park. And this is a woman, so I don't know yet. I think it might be Rebecca Allen. Rebecca Allen Car Club. Lead engineer Ant Williams talking about... We're distracted talking about horror movies while assembling the big wheels, which led to various construction mistakes. Ooh, so Ant Williams. Oh, I I put these at the wrong one. That is the wrong one. I meant to put that next to Chuck. That power station. Although he was at the power station too. Um, what's the date today? Crime syndicate impounded. Criminal operation 24 arrest inside informant walks free. So where is this? Learn about health and safety in the workplace. Get started in a career in health and safety advising. Where would that be? Oh my goodness. Hopefully I didn't mess this up. How's it going? I think I got it. I'm ready. I'm ready, Peggy. If it's Are the wrong sure? person, I'm so sorry. We've only got one shot at this. Let's do it. I'm sure. Let's do let's, this. Let's warn Ant okay. Williams. Name first. Who do you think the target is? Aunt Williams. Aunt Williams. And where will I find them? The power station. The power station. Okay, I'm dialing. One moment. Oh boy. Um, I, I, I hope so. Please. Forrest, I'm through to the power plant, but they say there isn't anyone oh. by that name there. Well. What? Then who? Ah! Jeez! It sounds like something blew up! He's using bombs now? Oh my god. The call board. It. I. What? One moment. What? Forrest, I'm getting so many calls. What? Just let me. Happen. I'm gonna take us off air for a moment. <sighs> what? Peggy, what's happening in there? Oh, I definitely did something terribly Peggy. wrong. Peggy? I'm back. He blew up the gas station forest. Okay. I spoke to the fire department and the hospital. The fire department is useless now, as you know. And, uh... The hospital's only ambulance was at the gas station. Oh my goodness. Forrest, you... You've got to say something on the radio. Oh my you goodness, I messed up. Town. I'm putting us back on air. I messed up now. so bad. Yeah, I don't know how to tell you this, but uh, uh, the gas station's been bombed. Uh, please, uh, everyone, stay safe, stay inside, and oh, just bring us into some music, Forrest. Yo, where was I supposed to? How in the world was I supposed to know it was the gas station? Let's Careful listen. with this next track, listeners. It's dynamite. It's dynamite. Forest. <laughs> Yo, I messed that up so bad, but I don't understand. There's got to be more in the basement to show us who Clive is targeting. And if that's the case, we can get ahead of him. Stop the killings before they can happen. Yeah. Forrest, we need to go back down. I don't want to go back we, down. You mean me, right? Yep. Like I said, I need to handle all these calls. Maybe start with that creepy mannequin room you mentioned before. Yeah, I don't really I want to. I still have a lot of questions about those, by the way. Me too. Which way is it? Over here? That is not the right way. In here? Okay. Is this still open? The guy can just come in here at any time. All right. Hmm. A key. What the? Was this always here? I don't think this was always here. I must have missed it when I brought everything upstairs. Those mannequins are so creepy. Basement storage. Basement storage. Basement storage. I'm so scared. I'm so nervous. I'm so nervous. What? Is this the right way? What? Peggy, give me some warning before you. Oh yelling my down the goodness. Sorry. Buzz the intercom when you find something and want to discuss it. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. What do I want to discuss? 
I got a tape. Peggy, I've found a tape. A map of what? And a picture. It looks like it might be to somewhere in this storage area. Weird. What? Well, maybe the tape will give us more information. Give it a play. Oh. Okay. George Bell. Follow the map, find the tape. Wait, George Barrow? We all heard that he drowned after a night out drinking. Okay. <gasps> Was it oh. actually Clive? Has Clive really been the whistling man for that long? What? He says I need the to follow janitor? the maps and find the tapes. I guess that's what this map is about. What map? I think we need to see what else is hidden down here. Be careful, Forrest. Keep looking. Buzz the intercom when you found something. Okay. Do you think you found everything, Forrest? I think there's gotta be more down here. I need to find all the tapes. You think so? How much did Clive hide down there? Let me see. Well, if there are more tapes, then there must be more maps to follow, right? That seems to be the case. All right, okay. Then. Buzz the intercom when you find something and want to discuss it. What is this? Time of autopsy is 7 a.m. Cause of death is Can asphyxiation from drowning. Whoa, what is going on? What in the world is going on? There's so much going on. I don't know. I don't even know what I should be looking for. And I don't like this. I feel like I gotta run at some point because the guy's gonna be in here. No complimentary flashlight. Hold on. Another picture? Oh, it's showing me where the tapes are. It is the coroner's opinion that the subject likely feared for his life and was chased, resulting in a fall what? from a height into a body of water. Okay. that down Ooh, a new vinyl for my collection yeah okay we just need to find all the tapes um preliminary toxicology results shows no signs of inebriation however small lacerations to arms legs and face i don't i'm not even interested in that Am I supposed to just listen to those? Oh. Okay. Okay. This looks useful. Useful. Something useful. Talk to, talk to me, Peggy. Found, it's an autopsy tape. Doesn't say for who, but I think it must be for George. Okay. Oh, George. He was so young. Something's bugging me, Peggy. What do you mean? I swear I recognize the voice of the woman talking on the tape. I just... Why do I feel like, like we can't trust Seriously? Peggy? Do you think you've met her before? I'm a little bit scared. I don't know. I mean, I just got here recently. I don't know. Found another tape. It talks more about how George died. What did it say? It sounds like he was running for his life. Sprinting through trees and bushes. Oh my goodness. Getting cut up all over drive someone to do that i'm not sure yet there's also a tape about a toxicology report Did i find all the tapes there were no signs of drinking or that he was on anything what but everyone said he went swimming drunk and drowned i i have it no idea what the story is, is painting out to be i'm trying to listen and put it all together mentions a friend from earlier sandra sharp sandra the jazz runner the jazz That's runner right. she found george's body washed up at the reservoir Reservoir? Yeah? What's strange about that? George got cuts from running through foliage, right? But there's no forest around there. What? Also, how did it wash up at the reservoir? What do you mean? Reservoirs don't have tides. True. But that's what the police report said. What are they covering it's up? It's not possible, though. I did a school project on reservoirs and got an A. But, yeah, not important right now. The important thing is what that are they it covering doesn't up? make sense. What are you suggesting, then? 
that the body was originally found somewhere other than what the report yeah, suggests. Yeah, that's what it seems like. That the sheriff tried to cover it up, but accidentally let something slip? Something like that. And that's why the sheriff was killed first. Well, Sheriff Matthews wrote the report. And if that's why Sandra was targeted next. True. S but Sandra is still alive? Once we're done down here, we should give her a call. What? In another tape, the coroner comes to the same conclusion as I did. George was running from something. Maybe an animal? Maybe, but then there's this next bit where the coroner thinks he was moved post death. What? The body? How weird. At the end of the tape, someone burst in and demanded the doctor, uh, Dr. Sullivan, to stop recording. Dr. Sullivan? Wait. What? Virginia Everything's Sullivan? connected. She was her caller from earlier. Well, then our caller was involved in a conspiracy around this boy's death. What? Everything we is involved with that. We need to call her back once we finish down here. It looks like she so might why, know what, something what about what's Carrie, going on. So why, what does Carrie have to do with this? Carrie wasn't killed. Do you think you found everything, Forrest? I think there's got to be more down here. I need to find all the tapes. Oh, so I can't leave until I find all the tapes. Basically, I just need to press play on them. And this, and just, you know... That's basically what I need to do. Okay, so there has to be at least... What is this? Um, okay. Let's keep that just in case. What have you found, Forrest? I found a tape that introduces a new detail to the story. Okay, what is it? Post-mortem injury. Apparently, his arm got caught in a car door. Okay. A car door? Yeah, after he died. How do you suppose they can tell? How can they tell? I'm a radio producer, not a coroner. Hmm. The written report I found doesn't mention it at all. How did his arm get trapped in a car door after he died? After? Unless he That's got weird. it when the police collected his body. That's weird, though. I guess someone else must have moved him after he was dead. That's weird. Where he was eventually found. But That's just weird stuff. What is going on here? I'm scared. I don't know what this I, is. Um, I think I found Clive's last recording. I think Clive might be gone. Gone? Gone. I found a confession. Where? Not for any killings, but for playing a part in covering up George's death. Oh, I don't know where that he is. He left this behind in case he died. He hoped someone would find it. You... Do you think the whistling man already got him? Possibly. We've had a lot of callers tonight, but... Maybe not every victim made it to the phone. Oh, no, you know? that's true. We don't know how many there really are. True. Christ, Forrest, that's dark. I know, but Clive said he had read about other murders in other towns. Okay. And that the murders were all folks who knew about the incident. And the killings were getting closer to Gallows Creek. Okay. He said he wanted to do something good for once. The board in his office. He wasn't tracking people down to kill them. He was tracking them down to save so them. So Clive is a good guy. Okay. Why didn't he just come out with all of this? But he's not uh, alive anymore. I don't think so. He said his employer threatened his family if he spoke out about any of it. Who's his, his employer? employer? The one who orchestrated the cover-up? The owner of the radio oh, station? Oh, Clive. I'm sorry for thinking you killed all those people. Do you think Isn't this employer everything? whoever... I think what? so. Forrest, what's going on here? Someone wanted that boy's death to seem like an accident. I'm so confused. And they hired Clive to make it look that way. Uh, come back upstairs when you're ready. We need to figure out our next step. Three o'clock. Three o'clock. Thank God you're back, Forrest. I've been running out of stuff to pad our airtime with. Peggy, you work in radio. Wait, let me put this Forrest, away. Forrest, I'm stressed. I mean, really. How are we supposed to keep a show going with all this happening? I... How are you playing... How are you playing music when you're in there? Are you actually leaving your room? Oh, oh. It's our job. This is our job, Peggy. We, we like, gotta is do that it. the only time you leave your room to <sighs> play right. the music? So, but not when we have to go and investigate the, the killers? I think we should call Virginia back. All right. I'll get her on the line. When you're ready, shut the music off. Hello again, Gallows Creek. This is Forrest, Forrest Nash. Nash. One something 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 We're scream. closer to the truth behind tonight's events. 
To this end, we're calling back one of our earlier callers, Virginia Sullivan. Okay, where was she again? I can't remember where she was. Where was she again? Fredman Plunker here. Who's this? Is it you? Goose. What? No. No, it's Plunker. Forrest. Hey, it's the radio man. For where Smash. was Virginia again? Radio oh, she man? was a neighbor. She was a neighbor. What's up? So I've been mystery saving lives, the huge. Right, 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 right on. Plunker, what are you doing at Virginia's house? Sh she asked if we could stay to keep an eye out for that whistling turd. Okay. So we're hanging out, bro. <laughs> well, oh no, is she uh, gonna be drunk? That's big of you, Plunker. <laughs> oh. Is she gonna be a little tipsy? <laughs> it's nothing. <sighs> Can I speak to Virginia? Sure thing, radio man. I'll just go get her. Okay, okay, okay. Who is this? Hey, this is the radio Virginia, man. it's Forrest. I'm, I'm glad you're still okay. Oh, Forrest. Sorry, I'm still jumpy. I'm suspicious of you. I'd be I jumpy too. You. I'd be jumpy too. I'm so sorry this happened to you, Virginia. I thought I was. I thought... It's okay. It's over. Now tell Easy. us the truth about what happened. We're not calling to talk about earlier. We're calling because we think we're closer you can and help closer to solving this mystery this about why today. why hey? certain people are being targeted. Because they're all connected. Clive. Does the name Clive mean anything to you? Clive? No. I don't know that. Okay, name. maybe I shouldn't have said that. What are you asking about this for? You mentioned that name earlier when you called us the first Wait, time. Wait, did she? I don't know what I said then. I was petrified. Oh yeah, she was Forrest. saying Clive, Clive's I didn't the say anything. At our station. And we know you spoke to him in the past. Yeah, we know Forrest, it. Forrest, please. You don't know what you're doing. He'll come for He's me. He's already coming for Virginia, you. Virginia, it's okay. Clive won't be coming after you. We think Clive's dead. Dead? But isn't he? What? He's the whistling man, Forrest. No, he's not. Why so certain? Why are you so certain Clive's the whistling yeah, man? Yeah, why are you certain? Because he. All those years ago, he... It's okay, Virginia. He's gone. We found evidence to suggest Dang. he... Well... And we found your autopsy reports for George Barrow. How? I saw him destroy them. Fake destroy well, them? he didn't. I don't know if he kept them or made copies or what, but we found them. And we know it's related to what's happening tonight. Okay, so basically Clive covered why up everything. Did you stay quiet? He was hired I... to cover up everything about the little boy's death in the past. All right. And then he regretted it. That's what One it sounds day, like. I came into work to find a a boy on my slab. And as I finished the autopsy, this man Clive, he just burst in. And, and he started making demands to give over the reports. To falsify what I found. Okay. Of course I said no. Things are getting juicy. But, well, when someone wants to make you do something, they can use the carrot or the stick. For me, he used both. Okay. You see, my sister is sick. She has a chronic condition that's never going away. It's expensive to treat, and it was getting to where I couldn't afford Dang. it. And Clive promised me that his employer would pay for my sister's treatment if I did what he said. And that if I ever spoke about this, okay. he'd beat me to within oh. an inch of my life. Wow, okay. I don't know why he had me do it, but my sister needed me. You have to understand. She needed me. Are we we yeah. understand. It's okay. Thank you, Virginia. That was brave. Brave God, stuff. Brave stuff. I just want this nightmare to end. You know, we haven't this had too many calls it, to save people. Thank I you. think the last one was Stay the teens. Stay safe, Virginia. Dang. Let's save this. So, Virginia is tied up in all of this. Clive threatened okay. her to keep quiet about George's death. How does the but teenager for tie into Why this cover stuff? up these details? Well, we know Sandra was involved in George's death. Do you want to call her? I do. All right, but before we go asking questions, 
I think we should know what we want to ask. Is that fair? Yeah. I guess so. We need to ask her about finding the body. She was the one who discovered it, but something just doesn't add up. A hundred percent. She knows more than she's saying. I wonder what she's hiding. We'll hopefully find out soon. Anyway, just be careful when you're talking to her. Why? Don't push too hard. We don't want her to oh, hang up. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I'll be careful. All right, calling her now. Hopefully she's at her jazz studio. Why would she be at her jazz studio? I thought she went home. Didn't she go home? Aha, uh -huh. Forrest, you're through. Hello, oh boy. Oh boy. Sandra at Jazz Pizzazz Jazz Studio. Who is this? Hello hey, again, Sandra. Sandra. It's Forrest Nash of 189.16. Hey. Well, like the Jazz Dance. The jazz stream. Run. And you're live on air. <laughs> oh, I always thought folks called into a radio show, not the other way around. How jazzy. What can I do for you? Uh, well, um, <laughs> we're trying to understand what's behind the attacks tonight. Okay, we gotta ask the right questions. We had a few questions. My forest, of course. Heck, after the way you saved my life. No, we gotta be careful with this. We gotta be careful with this. You asked. Um, that sounds nice. Really? Well, that sounds nice. I might just call you back tomorrow Yeah, let's then be a too. little flirty. Uh, you got my number. But what about tonight? Is there anything you want to talk about right now? Yeah. Remember why we called, Forrest. Okay, okay. Of course. Okay. Do you know why the whistling man might have targeted you? Ha! Okay. Mark Dell. He was just a knife-wielding psycho with superhuman cardio. Okay. He didn't chase after anybody. Right. Well, we think he might be chasing specific people. Okay, we gotta be careful people with how we say this. People who know about the death of a boy named George. Oh, I don't know anything about that. Sorry. Um, you found the body. Sandra, we know you found George's body. We have. Okay, don't the too, don't report. be, don't push too hard. I, I don't know what you mean. It's okay. It's okay, Sandra. We know. You do. You know about? Uh, yes. Yeah. Of course. <sighs> this studio is my life. Okay. After I found okay. the body in the river, I couldn't lose my studio. Do you understand? Yeah, we know. Yeah. Sure. Sure. I understand. When the rent just kept going up, he said he'd stop if, if I just needed to keep quiet and everything would be okay. Okay. That's low. You covered up the murder of a oh. boy for a dance oh. studio? That's I no, I meant Low, Sandra. I meant to say that it was low for the guy to threaten her, not hurt. Well, I mean that's low too what she did, but I Dang it. I... Oh, look at the time. Jury's late. I have to go. I'll drive home now or just... I messed up. Drive. I'm... I'm sorry. I did not... Well? I might have gone a I bit I didn't mean to do that. A bit? All right. All right. Let's just Dang it. move on. Well, folks, if anyone out there has any thoughts on what's going on tonight, please call in. That's good timing. We've got a call waiting just a second. Okay, hello. Welcome to 189.16, The Scream, with me, your host, Forrest Nash. Hi, Boris. Who I is know this? this is really out of the blue. This better not be Pontius Pizza. You could send this special birthday message to my This uncle. better not be Pontius Pizza. Sure, why not? It's Pontius, You know it? what? I'd welcome a change of pace. Something tells me it's Pontius Pizza. I'd be glad to. Thank you, Boris. He's my uncle Ronnie. His first name's Peter, but he never liked his name. I don't. But since he always has. I have a. I really have a feeling there, this is this is Pontius Pizza. Do you believe it? Folks always called him Pepper. Uh, okay. Thanks for the history lesson. Is there anything besides happy birthday you would like to say to Mr. Pepper? Oh my God. I knew it! Birthday deals and party packages I knew it! Pizza. Start again, you son of a Stop calling us! I Sorry, knew Forrest. it! Let's just move on. We've already got another caller on the line. Yo. Okay, okay. I think we could do this. This is 189.16, The Scream. I'm Forrest Nash. You're on the air, caller. Oh, we're gonna save one more person. Are you good? Caller. You blowing your nose? 
Are you laughing? Ponty. Ponty's pizza always delivers. Come rain or sea or whistling man. Yo, if there. this guy doesn't stop calling. <laughs> Forest? Forest? Are you okay? <sighs> Yo, if this guy does not stop <sighs> calling. Forest? I hope the whistling man gets in with oh, his no. own pizza slicer. Oh no, Jesus. he's gonna be next. Forest? Ponce is gonna be next now. Sorry, sorry, that was. That was too much. It's okay. It's been a high stress night. Don't worry about him anymore, okay? Not for tonight, anyway. I think he's spent for now. We've got another call. Whenever you're ready. Let's let's take this last call. Hopefully it's not. Folks, him. Don't spend your money at Pawnee's Pizza. That's all I'm gonna say about that. Moving along. I'd like to welcome another caller to 189.16 The Scream. Hey with me, who's Forrest calling? Nash. Who may I say is calling? Well, hello again, Forrest. Don? Don. Ah, I bet I know why you're calling. I'm sorry I didn't play your song. There's a lot going on. But please? Uh, never mind that now. Oh! First, I'm calling because I need your help. Oh, what's up? Are, Are you, you in danger? danger? Oh, I sure am. Why? Do you mean... Yes, he's after me now. Oh. You? Oh! I think so. He must have heard me on the radio helping you. Okay, okay, okay. Helping? Helping? You didn't exactly help. Maybe I've been helping more than you know. What? I was out following a lead, trying to work out who would be next after Chuck. And what happened? Oh, Chuck was like the one I that died. Oh. Being followed. I came back to my apartment building, but this newfangled security oh, I know what it is. system has me locked out. There it is. Here we go. It's this. It's this. I need you to help me get inside. It's this. Starling I know. I brought 000. this up. User manual. I brought I brought this um ah, I, br I brought this up from the, the place. These codes should come in handy. Oh no. Um, use a key. Don't you have a key to get in? Only Let's look the at this. Apartment door. The front oh, gate no. requires an entry code. Oh no. The future is electronic, I guess. Seven one five nine one four. Get inside. Which apartment block do you live in? Maybe one of our listeners lives there too. It's the. New Woodside apartment building between the town hall and the trailer park. But wow. I doubt any of your listeners live there. I don't have many neighbors. Yo, yo, like I, barely I barely heard that. I barely heard that. Sound really carries at night. <laughs> oh, the dog. A neighbor's is dog? Is that a neighbor's dog? Yes, it is. Boy, I wish he'd muscle that thing in. Oh. And now he's blasting David Scopo out of his window. What? Oh no! Oh no! Okay, okay. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta. Forty-five seconds. Forty-five seconds. And she'll be aborted. Oh no! I think she's gonna die. I don't. What's the name of the security system? There's a sticker on the box. No, I have it. I have everything. Move on. I have it. Four thousand. There's keypad, and it looks like it wants a six. Oh my goodness. We'll try. We'll see what we can do. Oh my do. goodness. Focus, focus, Thank focus. You, I can do this. I can do this. Careful. I can do this. Don't worry, Don. I have you, it. Forrest. I have it. I knew I could count on you. I'll sit out of sight. Call me back soon. Okay, we have it. We have the stuff. All right, folks. Here's a little tune for you all to enjoy while I try to break Don into her apartment. Okay, I have the thing, though. No. You were pretty quiet there, Peggy. She was Forrest, quiet. Was it just me, or was there something? What? Yeah, it wasn't just you. Something was weird about that. Oh, I don't yeah. know. Well, tell you what, we have a Starling Four Thousand or whatever here at KFAM. Clive bought one for the station. Maybe we can find something to help. Already got it. Well, I'm not sure who, but to help someone. Welcome back, Forrest. Find anything? The Starling 4000 security manual. It's got a bunch nice. of codes. Good. And did you find anything else? Nothing, except the manual. All right. I'll get Dom back on the line then, Forrest. I'll let you take it from here. Oh boy, Thanks, Peggy. don't mess this up. Don't mess this up. When you're ready, shut the music off. Okay. Line I'm ready. One, whenever you're ready. 
Done. Okay, Are lock in. This is Forrest Nash from 189.16, The Scream. Okay. Oh, thank God you're back. Okay. I'm so afraid. What's the code to the gate? Give the entry code. The code is 715-914. Thank you, Forrest. Is that, that's it, right? <laughs> that's right, right? Forrest. What did what we the? do? I don't, I don't know. know. Actually, I guess we'll find out. Forrest, there's what another do do? call coming in. Evening caller, you're live on. Oh, oh. <gasps> Forrest, the psycho's somewhere in the roller rink, dude. I just saw a shadow. <gasps> we just helped her. Wait, we helped her break into roller ricks, y'all. I was wondering. I was like, wait, we know there's a dog at roller ricks. So why? I was like confused. I was like, but she's talking about a house. I didn't think it was the same. It was Max. Why is she breaking in? Why is she breaking into the roller rink? Forest. Maxie, no. Come back. Oh no. I what is Don doing? I don't want to hurt anybody, but I can't let anything happen to Maxie! Maxie! <gasps> process what just happened Don is the whistling man is Don what Max I shouldn't have trusted her I forgot you don't have to answer I didn't know this game would betray me like that oh I feel so betrayed I just gotta end it with this too I just oh, I, I feel terrible stay tuned for the next part don't forget to like and subscribe and join the squad and I'll see you in the next video bye Shotty's up in here, this an anthem. Walk up in the room, feel the beauty with a mask on. Later.